Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando. I'm going to be meeting up with a friend and we're going to be trying some snacks around the park. But also I want to go ride Shrek 4D. Universal recently announced that they're going to be closing the attraction permanently. And I really haven't rode it in such a long time. So I figured today would be a perfect day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It's been a while since I've been out to Universal Studios and made a video. I have been here for Halloween Horror Nights, but every time I've come, it is literally a downpour and I haven't been able to make a video. I don't think there's any Halloween Horror Nights tonight, so we're just gonna enjoy the park as it is. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about Shrek 4D closing permanently. I feel bad because I've only rented it maybe like a handful of times. It's not like my go-to attraction, but I know a lot of people really, really did like it, and hopefully they replace it with something amazing. I mean, it hasn't always been Shrek 4D. There have been a lot of amazing attractions in there before, and I'm excited to see what they're actually going to bring about. I think I'm gonna start off the day by grabbing myself an iced coffee from the Today Cafe. This is one of my favorite places to get coffee. I like it a lot better than Starbucks, actually. Can't go wrong with a nice little nitro cold brew to start the day. Ah, that's the good stuff. And I think it's time we actually hop in line to see Shrek 4D. It's only a 15 minute wait, which is a little shocking. I thought there would be a longer line here. Hi friends! And I ran into my friend, who we're gonna hang out with today, Taylor. And he owns the Orlando Informer. And I'm gonna pick the day today. So I'm gonna actually pick all the things we do, and we're gonna vlog it together. It's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. All right, Shrek 4D first. Let's do it. Take a look at Lord Farquaad's enchanted tick room. <laughs> oh, and then SpongeBob's out there too. We're missing all the good action over here. Donkbo! Form of punishment in here is called a flogging. Does anyone know what a flogging is? Uh -oh, no one. Okay. Now, a flogging is a severe beating with a wooden stick. While you're being tortured, there's going to be no video taping. Oh. Oh no! Are you ready to go have fun? You ready to go, Taylor? I'm nervous. No vlogging, or you're gonna get a flogging. <laughs> so I really like that show. I just think it's a little bit long. Like it takes a long time, and if you're in the park, you have to be, you know, on the go because you want to get everything done. But what do you think? So my favorite part about the show is in the graveyard scene, there's a gravestone that says coming soon. So someone reserved their grave. Their grave. Wow. Yeah. Wow, they have a lot of good touch. And it actually got me with the seatbelt. <laughs> he did. He laughed at me. He's like, buckle your seatbelt. And I reached for the seatbelt. And he's like, you know the seatbelt thing is fake, right? So I fell for it. But it's a good show. And I'm sad to see it go. As soon as we come out of Shrek 4D, Donkey's out talking to guests. So maybe we'll go over and say hello real quick. I would like to get his thoughts about the flogging. <laughs> I'm not too sure if I got that part in. The reason I keep on saying flogging is cause flogging means getting beat with a stick. It's a form of torture. And in the pre-show they said, if you pull out your camera or your cell phone, you're gonna get flogging. So it's so funny because if you get caught flogging, you're gonna get a flogging. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Yo, how's it going? How's it going? You know, I asked you first. I asked you second though. Uh, okay, I'm um, doing good, how are you? Well, yeah, okay, I thought you were going to steal my answer. No. See, see. What's your name? My name is Taylor. Taylor, have you been here before? I have. You've been you here? so familiar. Yeah. Who's your friend? This is Nate. Hey, friend. Nate? Hi, friend. Hey, What's friend. What's going on? Nice shirt. Oh, thank Where'd you. Where'd you get that thing? Fancy. It's a uh, Roosevelt. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. What's it say? It's all dinosaurs. Jurassic Park. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's yeah. multiple parts. I yeah. see. Now I think it's time we head on over to Diagon Alley and I want to get myself a butterbeer but I actually want to try something special with the butterbeer and I'm not too sure how it's going to go but uh, we're going to give it a go. <laughs> As I'm hanging out with Taylor I'm helping him make a video where I choose what he does today and I kind of feel like he's missing something and I spotted some fedoras over here so uh, Taylor's about to get fedorable. Oh, look at that. Nice. 
There we go. That's the right stuff, right? So how many of these do you own? Hundreds. Hundreds? Hundreds of fedoras. Hundreds yep. of fedoras. I go through them a lot, but I, each fedora is like a little special, you know? Yeah. That one's special. It's a universal one. And it, you know, actually, I don't think I've ever got a universal fedora. If they come out with one that says like Universal Studios yeah. on it, I have to get it. But these ones are kind of just like regular fedoras. But if they came out with a universal fedora, that would be amazing. I think we're gonna head on into the Leaky Cauldron now, and because it being October and I'm in the pumpkin like I'm like stages, like I feel like I'm all about pumpkin. I want to get a butter beer, but also I want to get a pumpkin juice, and maybe we'll just combine them together and have a pumpkin butter beer. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it out. So here we have a pumpkin juice and a cold butter beer, and like I said, we're just gonna mix them together and see how it comes out. I'm really excited because I think it would be amazing. Also, I uh, tossed around the idea of going to Starbucks and getting a pumpkin cold foam, like the pumpkin nitro cold brew, and actually adding some butter beer to it, because that would be actually more realistic. But we're gonna try this one first. We got an extra little cup here, so we're gonna do a little, a little pumpkin juice. What do you think, like a 50-50 ratio? Yeah. Yeah, 50-50, right? You're the barista. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now we're going to dump a little bit of this. Oh, Lordy, that does not look good. That does not look good at all. Maybe it, oh, I don't know. Actually, it's got a nice color to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Like a creamy pumpkin juice? I'm trusting you here. <laughs> I don't trust me. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, that, that seems good, right? Yeah. All right. Even. Yeah, I like it. Cheers to something that might be really good or really bad. We'll find out. Look at a, look at a mustache. That's not bad, actually. No, if you like pumpkin, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Wow, I would do this again without the mustache, though. Wow, I think we got a win here. Cheers. <laughs> Taylor's favorite is hot butter beer. Now that would mix pretty well though, I think, with the hot butter beer. My favorite's cold butter beer. I don't know why, I just think it's refreshing. I like it. I would put hot butter beer number two and then frozen butter beer as my last. Like it's not my favorite. But you haven't had potted. I haven't had the potted Have butter beer. Fudge? Oh, fudge? Fudge. Well, maybe we should get some fudge. Yeah, here we go. All right, now we're gonna get some fudge. Now we're really getting, I mean, pumpkin butter beers and fudge? I'll take this. <laughs> You might need to add a little bit more of the pumpkin juice in there. And funny that the the, uh, the foam isn't really going down. It's kind of just floating on the top there. The butter beer fudge was really good. We tried it out on Taylor's channel. And honestly, like I tried all the different butter beer things here. The butter beer ice cream is one of my favorites, but I never had the fudge before, so that was fun. And now I think we're gonna continue around Universal and stop over uh, in the Simpsons area. Maybe play a game? I think that would be fun. I don't think I've ever played one of the games. And I'm a little bit competitive, so it'll be fun. You're on. Yeah. Oh. What, what happens to the loser, though? Or what does the winner get? Oh, that is a good idea. Oh, man, there should be a wager. We'll have to find some kind of stakes. Yeah, we have to. Our choices of game are Whack-A-Rat, Mr. Bourne's Radioactive Rings, Ay Crumba, Se uh, help, uh, Santa's Little Helper, Sideshow You, and Wild Willies. So we're gonna figure out which one we're gonna do. I don't know. I, I want something competitive, so we might actually do Santa's Little Helper. Because that's a race. Yeah. I feel like that's probably head to head. A lot of these aren't head to head. Or actually, Whack a Rat is head to head. Oh, tough decisions. There's gonna be one made. I think we're gonna do Help Santa's Little Helper. I think it'll be fun. It's like one of those water gun where you race the dog, but it's like a dog race because it's uh, Santa's Little Helper. And I don't know, yeah. Kind of reminds me of Gracie. I think Santa's Little Helper kind of looks like Gracie, like her face does wise. It does, yeah. It does, right? <laughs> It is $8 to play, and you need at least two payers because it is a competitive game, and I think we've come up with an amazing wager. So if one of us loses, it's, it's gonna be bad. But it's gonna be fun, I think. We both decided loser goes and rides Dudley Do-Right. <laughs> the, the biggest 
water attraction here at Universal Studios, guaranteed to get soaking wet. And both of us do not like being soggy bottom boys. So loser's gonna get soaked, and I think that makes it even more fun. If I wanted to let you know, I, I will hold your fedora while you ride when you lose. Oh, 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 and look at he's he's already saying he's gonna win. Wow. <laughs> All right, I'm excited. Are we gonna be, do you know? we can sit All right. <laughs> I'm going number two. I'm going number one. <laughs> straight at the orange chicken here. Do not watch your dog. If you do, he will get shy and he will not run. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Oh no. We are neck and neck. I don't want to look. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Come on, Santa. The winner of this close race is off. Wait, wait! <laughs> Who won two or one? Oh, oh no. no! Oh, I won. Who won? I won. I won. I oh, Jay said so. So Jay totally said I was the winner. It was a full game, so there was more than just me and Taylor playing uh, and it was for choice prize but there was a winner between both of us and Jay said number two won so he's got to go down Dudley do right I mean I don't know let us know what you guys think because it did look a little close maybe it was the angle but I mean I'm going with what Jay said yeah <laughs> of I course bet you are. <laughs> I know right I bet you are yeah <laughs> yep, I'm Jay you're the man <laughs> Well, since we know that Taylor's going to be doing Dudley Do-Right a little bit later on, I thought it would be fun to also do something that he's never done. And we're going to go over to Fievel's Playland, and they actually have a water slide right here at Universal Studios. Now, it's kind of like a kid ride, and you don't get wet. You're actually in a raft, but I thought it would be fun to actually do something that you don't do it all and he's never done before never first timer here yeah which is rare there's very I know. few things here i haven't done before so. yeah this is like a big thing i actually yeah. feel honored man yeah i feel honored i'm that happy to share this with you yeah <laughs> this is gonna be great <laughs> like i said i'm not too sure i don't think you get that wet in there no you don't get wet at all but it's like a pre-game it's getting us all warmed up for your yeah. deadly do red fall i mean are you excited for which one deadly do right for this? both <laughs> I mean, that's, it's a lot of water slides. Well, yeah. a, a lot of water attractions in one day. This one I'm excited for. Doodly do right, you know. Not so much. Uh, rock, paper, scissors, shoot to see who goes first. Okay, okay. Are you ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm losing all day. Uh-huh, you go first. I got the luck of Jay behind me. <laughs> all right, so Taylor's going first, and you can't film on it. Well, number one, it's a water ride, so you really don't want to. So we're actually going to wait down here and film each other coming down the slide. I thought that would be fun. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, like I said, we don't get too wet. I don't think you get any wet at all. He took his hat off. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to ruin it. <laughs> Look, he's going to be coming down right here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I guess you do get a little wet, huh? <laughs> that is so awesome. All right, my turn. I'm going down now. <laughs> All right, Taylor just came down. I'm gonna keep my hat on, and I'm not sure if I can film on here, probably not, but he's gonna be filming me down there, so it'll be probably on his video when I come out the bottom. I'm just excited to do this. It's really fun. Wow, this is really nice up here. It's like we're up in a gigantic barrel. It's like a whiskey barrel or a bourbon barrel. Very cool. I am next and I can't film, so I'm sure Taylor's gonna catch me coming out the bottom, but this looks so much fun. I am really excited. <laughs> All right, I'm hopping aboard here. I'm a little nervous. That was actually really fun. And I didn't get wet at all. You got more wet than I did. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't get wet at all, actually. I blame Jay. Yeah. They, oh, it's Jay's fault. <laughs> yeah. 
Now I think we're gonna head on over to Islands of Adventure. Somebody's got a date with Dudley Do Right. Thanks to Jay. No, no, I won that fair and There's square one, though. Thanks to Nate. Yep, thanks to Nate. With yep. Jay being the, the assist. <laughs> oh yeah, the official. Yes, not the assist. No way. Uh, everything was legit. So yes, you admit. No, 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 no. Never said that. Never said that. <laughs> I noticed we got some dark clouds up there, and uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah. he's uh, hoping and praying Dudley Dowright uh, closes for uh, lightning in the area. I mean, it'd be a shame, but you know. Oh, you know, shuck. Safety first. You safety know? first, yeah, yeah. But I think we'll be okay. I think we got enough time before the storm comes I in. I need to slow down. I'm okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> We've made our way over to Islands of Adventure and I want to check out some of the wait times. It actually looks not too busy here at all. The Cat in the Hat is a five minute wait. Dudley Do Right, 35 minutes, but you got Express, right? I do have Express. Oh, and VelociCoaster 55, Hagrid 75. Do you think it's shocking that Hagrid still has a higher wait time as VelociCoaster? Well, so I feel like more people can ride Hagrid's, you know? Like That's true. Like VelociCoaster kind of intense. Yeah. Um, you like VelociCoaster, right? Uh, yeah, I like VelociCoaster just for the thrill. 100%, but Hagrid's a better themed ride. Yesterday I was at Hollywood Studios, Slinky Dog Dash had a longer wait time than Rise of the Resistance. Wow. Isn't that kind of crazy? Yeah, so it's kind of like the well. same scenario. Funny. <laughs> so we decided to give Taylor a redemption. Hopefully, or maybe not hopefully, there is a water gun game here at Islands of Adventure. So we're gonna double or nothing. Uh, and if Taylor wins, then I'm gonna end up riding Popeyes, which is a ride that you get way more wet than Dudley Do Rides. Drenched. Yeah, you get drenched. But if he loses, then he's gotta do Popeyes and Dudley Do Rides. Are you excited? Or I, you're nervous? I am very nervous, but I'm feeling confident. I, although I, I felt confident last time, and it didn't work out well for me. We just need to get Jay over here. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I need to get Jay, Jay over. Needs to stay at USF. <laughs> <laughs> to stay far and away I from think Iowa. it might just be me and you. So this is like going to be definitive yeah. right here. Yeah. I'm. I, I love this game. I love this whole video actually. So far. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Right here it is. Not like Santa's little helper, this is Top Glow, and instead of having a dog race, it actually goes upwards. And we got a llama, so we're gonna be racing llamas and unicorns. I like this one, this one's a little bit more festive. He got lucky. Honestly, it's because I didn't have Jay on my side. Team Heather, for you though. I think you got an assist. No prob, Llama. <laughs> oh, team Heather. <laughs> team Heather. <laughs> Honestly, I think mine wasn't lined up right on. I think he had the better lineup. And I hear with the game, it is actually skill level that you just need to be able to have like a steady stream at the get-go. And mine wasn't right. I would like those guns checked. Someone needs to go inspect that ride because, or that, uh, that game, because I think there's some foul play there. Right? <laughs> he agrees. He don't care. I'm going on Popeyes now. <laughs> All right, you're going first though. I sure am. Dudley do rights for you first, and then I'm gonna do Popeyes. <laughs> and the fun thing is, is we're gonna be able to film each other. Yeah. So like, I'll be able to film you coming down on the bridge. Uh -huh. Man, I I'm, can't believe I lost. Because... I'm gonna get a great shot of you on Popeye. Don't oh, I'm sure you will. <laughs> <angles>. <laughs> Taylor is gonna be taking that big drop right there. This is intense. I mean, I really do like this ride, and honestly, if I knew I was gonna lose, I probably would have like recommended me to ride this instead of doing Pluto's. I don't like Pluto's as much. Look at that. <laughs> so also, as an added boost, you can actually buy tokens to squirt water at people that are coming off Dudley Do Rights. So of course, I'm gonna do that. Five dollars and I get 12 tokens. Thank you, please. Taylor got lucky because the guns or the water guns that you could pay to get people wet aren't working. It's only cash only. I don't have any cash or else he would definitely be getting a double dose of water. But now I'm just going to sit here and wait for him to come down. And hopefully not get wet myself. Holy moly. Do you see that? Ah! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, he got soaked. We gotta come back over on this side. <laughs> You're lucky! It's cash only! <laughs> oh, you're soaked! <laughs> Look at the walkout right now. <laughs> I'm laughing, but that's gonna be me soon. <laughs> Ooh. Definitely more wet than Fievel, huh? <laughs> oh, the, first, the first drop I felt okay, you know, I was like, I was like, you know, whatever was going to be okay, it's not going to be too bad. It only kind of got my shoes, but then the last drop. Oh, yeah. But cash only, I was happy to hear about that. Yep, cash only. <laughs> it was satisfying to see him go down, but now it's time for me to live up to my end of the bargain, and we're going to head on over to Popeye's. I'm telling you, okay. like, Popeyes, you get soaked. <laughs> so basically, this is like a more intense Cali River Rapids. And like I said, you get soaked. Look at as they're about to take off right through here. And this is going to be me soon. Whoop! Right under the bridge and over on the other side. And I'm going to bring No Problema with me. He's going to go along the ride. And I don't know. I, honestly, I'm excited. I don't mind getting a little wet right now. I, I mean, a little, but we're going to get soaked. That's the part I don't mind, and I'm gonna be walking out of here. Definitely a soggy bottom boy with completely soggy shoes. I gotta go to my water cannon now. Oh yeah, guess who brought cash with him? Guess who has cash? Huh? Figures that. Did not. Well, that's why they call it the no problema. Yep, no problema. <laughs> awesome. Oh, man. Well, that was actually such a fun ride. And I'm going to say right now that I think this is my all time favorite, like, white water rafting ride or like the rapids, you know what I mean? Because it's got like a gigantic Kraken uh, animatronic in there. And I love Popeye, you get soaking wet. Shockingly, the llama actually is pretty dry. The llama has stayed dry. It's a no problema. No problema. <laughs> now I figure we'll go do one fish, two fish. And this is a game where you can potentially get wet if you follow directions. If you don't follow directions. If you don't follow directions, you can get wet. So either we're going to decide whether we are going to get wet or we're not going to get wet. I mean, I'm soaked now. I don't care. Yeah, you have nothing to lose. Yeah, we could dry off though. Uh, you know, air dry a little bit. And it'll just be fun to ride. Look at that. I love Seuss Landing. Look at this. You have the option to avoid all these water sprays. You just gotta follow the directions. So when they tell you to go up, go up. And when they tell you to go down, go down. Oh, someone didn't listen. Oh, so hopefully it's not gonna be us. But this is like a really fun ride. <laughs> Guy right now. Hey, Vic, I'll take it. It works. Welcome to the Watch This 2 Fisher number. We'll be calling on the ground. Watch the time there and Please follow along soon. We'll be in and then right here all children. Watch the Fisher ride. A wonderful adventure where you won't stay dry. Come on in and buckle up. <laughs>
ended up still getting wet. Come but then. it did say redfish down, down, down. And we did follow the directions. Maybe we were in like an orange fish. Were we in an orange fish? No, I don't think those exist. Oh. <laughs> but we did get tricked. We got wet. And uh, Taylor protected uh, the no problema. He did a good job. His motherly instincts kicked in and <laughs> like, oh, he had, no, no. It's so much fun though. I love this ride. It is like more than just one of those traditional spin around rides. Like it's like a whole thing. I love it. <laughs> Take a look at the skies. Isn't that beautiful? Honestly, I love coming to Universal just to see the beautiful sunsets. And with that, I think we are gonna call it a day here. Such a fun uh, day, right? Yes. Did you have fun? I did a good job. I picked everything out, uh, and I hope I, I hope you had fun, right? Yeah, I had a great time. Even getting wet? Time. Yes, even on the water See, rides. You, uh, you get like fear building up to it, but once you go down and you just ride the ride, you have a great time. Like I love Pluto. Like that was fun. And the friendly competition was fun as well. I know. We're gonna do it again. Like there yeah. is gonna be a part two. Make sure you check out Taylor's video. I will put a link in the description for his channel. And uh, yeah, such a fun day. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. See ya.